After recovering the flight data recorder and locating the cockpit voice recorder of AirAsia Flight QZ8501, Indonesian officials are beginning to piece together potential causes of the deadly crash. Officials suggest that the AirAsia Airbus A320 may have tried to avoid a storm by rapidly climbing to high altitudes. When an aircraft is in flight, airflow over the wings travels faster than airflow beneath the wings, maintaining a difference in air pressure above and below the plane that sustains the aircraft in mid-air. If the wings are at too high of an angle, this reduces airspeed over the top of the wing as air can no longer travel smoothly over its surface. The plane will experience sudden loss of lift and stall. The aircraft may have also been traveling too slow at the altitude it was flying. Thin airflow at higher altitudes mean the pilot must generate more airflow by moving forward at a faster speed. Pilots are trained to respond to stalls by pointing the nose of the plane down, thereby reducing the angle at which the wings meet incoming air currents. Several factors may impede a pilot's ability to respond. The best pilots can forget how to manually ease the plane out of a stall. In the case of Air Asia, it's possible that some of the plane's instruments were too frozen to respond adequately. Flight records recovered from the aircraft's black boxes are expected to help officials better understand what happened prior to the crash.